Hi, my name is Sebastian Marek and I'm a multidisciplinary artist who is specializing in 3D. For the last few years, I've been involved in projects for companies such as Adobe, Huawei, Lenovo, Ubisoft and many others. When I was a skateboarder, I failed many times before I landed a trip. When I pulled it off, it had to be clean. This taught me to be consistent and to focus on details. Skate culture influenced me so much that I entered the world of vector graphics and then 3D. In my work, I try to experiment and find a balance between technique and creativity to deliver quality images. In this Domestica course, you will learn how to combine different softwares to deliver high-quality render with a twist. For the final project, you will create a 3D still image of a skateboard in a surrealistic style. First, I will introduce to you the basics of 3ds Max and explain how to set up Blueprints images to planar geometry. Then, we will model the deck of the skateboard and reuse its geometry to create a grip tape. We will also do the wheels, bearing, hardware and truck. Now, it's time to deform our complete object in a creative way. Next, we will prepare the object for texturing with Ryzen UV. We will work on textures for wood, grip tape, rubber and metal objects in substance. Afterwards, we will arrange the composition and add the textures, lighting and shaders with redshift. Then we will set up the render for still images and compose the layers in Photoshop. Lastly, we will edit our image, relight it with the normal pass and adjust the colors. By the end of this course, you will be able to model any realistic object and give it a creative spin. To follow my steps, you will need a basic knowledge of Adobe Substance and Photoshop, Autodesk 3ds Max and Redshift. Model a surreal object that will make people wonder if it was done in real life.